Hello, good morning, Facebook family. Happy Wednesday, May 8th. It's such a joy to come together today, um, especially on this kind of Colorado winter day. You know, spring here in Colorado, some days it's sunny, some days it's rainy, and now they're even predicting snow. Um, really uh, kind of excited about today's message. Um, because again, the right message lands on the right hands or the right ears at the right time. And here in Colorado today, our community is um, a bit unsettled from yet another school shooting. Um, two, two young people entered a school and, and, and shots were fired. And um, it really is a time for us as a community to come together and say, who do we want to be? as a people, and I believe that the everyday mindfulness practice, just taking a minute each and every day to set a powerful intention for ourself of love, of care, and of joy, can be bright lights out into the world. Hello, Chip, it's great to see you. Bobby Dart, snow, yes, it's happening yet again here in beautiful, not so sunny today, Colorado. It's great to see you both online. So today, May 8th, we're just again talking about who do we want to be as, as a human family, as a community? How do we want to show up in the world? And everyday mindfulness, uh, this mindfulness in May practice gives us 31 days to just pause for a minute and think about what's the energy we want to bring into this world on this day. And our May 8th reading is themed, Be an Angel on Earth. Highly successful people attract guardian angels here on Earth by Noah St. John. Your life will change the day you look around and recognize that you and everyone else on this planet is in fact an angel. We are here to support one another on the journey to live, to love, and to laugh. We are here to become our highest and best self. Today, be an angel to someone else and allow angels to show up for you. And um, it also came to my attention that today, May, Eight, this week is actually National Teacher Week. And I think so often we, we think about, you know, we have teachers in elementary school and middle school and high school. And it's certainly um, on my mind today that uh, the teachers today face different challenges than they did when we were in school. And they are called to be angels. In fact, um, one of my friends was a teacher in this school where this school shooting happened in Colorado. And I know that she expressed as an angel yesterday uh, with the parents and the families and the children. And there's no amount of life that can prepare us for a moment like that. Um, but just to know that we are enough, that we are perfect and that we have the right skills and the abilities to show up as an angel on earth. So no matter how you are or what you do on this planet, from being a teacher to maybe you're in construction or you're an accountant or you're a Starbucks barista. I want all of us, by the power of our everyday mindfulness practice, to honor the angels that we are on earth and look at the still small ways that we can show up as angels for one another and allow angels to show up for us. Um, in a little bit lighter, lighter experience of this being an angel on earth, I um, was traveling last week for an executive conference retreat, and we were staying up at the retreat center and then moved down into the hotel and of course, they had to send a car to move me back and forth. And there was a young man who, you know, came to pick me up and, hey, what do you do for a living? Hey, I'm an author. I'm a speaker. I teach mindfulness for CEOs and executives. And he just leaps into joy. And he says, oh, my gosh, I'm the right person at the right time to pick you up. I want to write a book. This kid must have been, you know, 20 years old. He said, oh, do tell me about that and let him explore all of that. And in that moment, he got to be an angel for me recognizing the path that I had already walked. And I get to be an angel for him, sharing with him the stories of, you know, here's how you get an editor, and here's how you write a blog, and here's how you, you do the publishing. So I think, you know, today, mindfulness in May, be an angel on earth, gives men and women, no matter where you live, no matter what we do, the opportunity to just pause and ask, what are your gifts and how can you give them to the world, knowing that in that exact moment that somebody's bringing that good back to you, just like that young man and did for me last week, just simply asking me about what I did and, and how um, he could ignite his passion a little bit. Sean, Colin, so great to see you. Daryl, great to see you. Gina, thanks for joining. So what's on your mind about mindfulness? We've got this entire month, Mindfulness in May. Every May, I renew my commitment to touch a million lives with mindfulness. And this month, we're reading the book every day and sharing 
those little moments of inspiration, of education and connection so we can grow a world full of more love and more hope, hope and more joy. And I, I certainly hope hear less and less about these school shootings. And for anyone in Colorado or for anyone around the world who's hearing about the story here in Colorado, I'm just asking you to go be an angel on earth today in your community. Listen to a child. Maybe share an inspirational quote or a message. Uh, you just never know. This is this is a tough time of year for many of us. You know, schools are graduating. You've got proms. You've got end of year testing. Um, whether you're a parent or you're not a parent, we all get to be um, parents and angels on earth to children, young and old. And and today's message, I know some of you are joining on a little bit later, is be an angel on earth. Highly successful people attract guardian angels here on earth by Noah St. John. And I feel so grateful to know that this community continues to grow every day. Um, if you're inspired by mindfulness or the work that I do, I want to invite you to share it out into the world. Um, this week I have a contest going on. Everybody who shares, I'm going to put your name in a hat. We're going to draw a hat and on Friday. Um, I'm going to mail somebody a physical copy of this book as, as my gift. So let's continue to grow mindfulness. Maybe those skills of human heart out in the world and be angels on earth this day. Sean, so great to see you. Foster, great to see you. Um, I'm also moving the show over to my Facebook um, group page, Holly Duckworth Leadership on Facebook. So if you haven't uh, liked my profile over there, I want to invite you to do so. Join the group and send me your questions about mindfulness. I know this topic for some is really exciting, and for others it can be a little bit fearful, and we have some questions around it. And your questions help inform my blogs, my newsletters, and maybe even a future book. Um, if, you've had, if you haven't got enough everyday mindfulness on these daily videos, I also want to invite you to check out my podcast. I'm posting new podcast episodes today. The show, of course, is the same as the book, Everyday Mindfulness. And every week on Friday, I release a new show uh, with a new interview on somebody who's living these principles on the good days and on the interesting days. And we get to explore how to grow this practice personally and professionally. So that's another great way you can share and access my work. And if you or somebody you know is interested in being an angel in my world and coming in, coming on to the show, I am now booking interviews into June and July for shows that will air this fall. So on this day, wherever you are, whether the sun is shining or just like here in Colorado, we're anticipating the snow. Just want to invite you to breathe in, breathe out. And remember that mindful matters, that you and the work that you do are an angel on earth. And if you can give your gifts into the world and receive from those friends, family, and colleagues around you, we can grow mindfulness in the world. Thanks so much. Have a great day.